Oh, art design. You gotta love it. Anyways, for today's commentary, I want to talk about the future of art design and gaming. So, let's get into it. So, you guys don't know this, but I've always liked art design. And it seems like it's becoming more and more of a standard with gaming in the last few years. And I've really appreciated that. Because, once again, I like art design. And I feel what adds to the art design of the game is not the Im just the immersion, but the atmosphere, the look of the game, the colors that it has. All these things, all these things factor into something and just how into how beautiful a game can look. An example of this is The Last of Us. It had that really awesome apocalyptic looking feel to it. And I feel that really added to the f look of the game. Now, a few years back, I would have said that the look of the game doesn't matter, but over time, my opinion has really changed. And with how games are now, compared to what they were a few years back, it seems like art design is starting to become more and more of a focus with the games that we play. And once again, I'm happy about that. And it seems like it's going to become a huge focus in this generation of consoles. And it has nothing to do with the power level of that console. I mean, just look at the Wii U. It's the weakest out of all three 8th generation systems. It's only a little bit more powerful than an Xbox 360. But still, with the games it's released, it shows just what art design can do for a game. Even when that console that it's on, or just that platform that it's on, doesn't have the m power that you'd expect from a next-gen console, let's say. Let's just say. So, I feel that when it comes to art design for gaming in the future, we're gonna it's gonna start branching out more and more. You could start seeing more comic book looking games, which we already do have Borderlands, for example. Or we could start seeing much more realistic looking games with much more colorful looks, which we already have seen before. But I feel that we're going to see more of this, but we're going to see more diversity and more variety of these already existing things. And we're going to see new artistic designs added to gaming in the future. And I'm happy about that. Because I just feel that, once again, now art design really does add to a game. And that's all there is to it. Anyways, that's all I had to say. I hope you enjoyed this commentary, and I'll see you all next time. Until then, I'm out.